I've just come out of the Rossetti's exhibition at Tate Modern. I don't really know pre-Raphaelite art very well. In fact, I don't think I had ever heard of the Rossetti's, to be absolutely honest. I know the pre-Raphaelite aesthetic and it's never really engaged me. It's definitely not an art movement that I have any real interest in. But I've learned today one thing that I'm really pleased to know. I'd never stopped before to think about what the term pre-Raphaelite meant. I never explicitly thought about it, but I kind of thought there must have been a, a Raphaelite movement that came after them and they were pre-Raphaelite. Wrong. They were a group of artists that thought that Raphael had a corrupting influence on the teaching of art and that this was still applied in the Royal Academy. So pre-Raphaelite meant that they were trying to make art as if this hadn't happened. So I had two overall feelings in this exhibition. One, it felt like I'd found a dusty old hardback book in an old chest and I was flicking through the images, marvelling at how it seemed to be of another time. And secondly, the work is quite cinematic, but also a bit melodramatic. It, it's, it's a little bit soap opera-ish, maybe. I don't think it made me appreciate pre-Raphaelite art anymore. But there were some positive things about it. Firstly, I think we get some of the poetry of Christina Rossetti on when you get into the first room. And at first my heart sang because the gallery wall is filled with her poetry and I have the feeling that it's not a good use of a gallery wall to fill it with poetry. However, what I did realise that when you stood on certain spots, an overhead speaker would deliver a recital of one of the poems just to your spot, and I really liked this. I found myself listening to some of the poems several times and reading it on the wall as I listened to it. To be honest, I'm not sure they were great poems, but I kind of enjoyed that multimedia experience. The Rossettis do seem to be an interesting family. There were four siblings and they were encouraged to explore the arts by their parents. So there is that feeling of just having a go. I'm not sure that all of this is actually very good art, but it's definitely people trying out new things, which I think is always to be respected. Some of the paintings are so rich, they're like a soap opera version of great religious paintings and I'm never going to love this work but I did enjoy taking a, a closer look at pre-Raphaelite work than I ever have before. There's a room showing how the pre-Raphaelites influenced more contemporary work and to be honest this seemed a little bit thin there were only a few works but I did like the extract on the screen of a Ken Russell film about the life of Dante Gabriel Rossetti from 1967 starring Oliver Reed. This was interesting to see this, I wasn't aware of that film. Overall, I had such low expectations for this exhibition that it wouldn't have surprised me if I'd have gone round it in five minutes. However, it was interesting enough that I actually spent about 40 minutes in there. I would say, unless you're a fan of pre-Raphaelite art, I'm not sure that it's really worth making a visit to see this show. It's not really recommended. Thanks for watching, see you next time.